Hi everyone and welcome to Upload VP. My name is Andrew Watts and in this WordPress tutorial we're gonna learn about this. Hi everyone and welcome to this WooCommerce tutorial part 9. In this tutorial we will learn how you can set up your taxes in your WooCommerce setting. So go to your dashboard Go down to WooCommerce, choose settings. Okay, so go up to tax. In uh, this tutorial, we will learn how to set up tax options, also how to set up standard rates. And uh, if you learn how to set up standard rates, you can also use this one, reduced rate and zero rate. Okay, so first we want to set up tax options. The first one we have is enable taxes. So you need to check this one to enable taxes and tax calculations. If you don't do this, you don't have to bother about the rest of the settings. So this is important. Next we have prices entered with tax. If you check this one, this will include the taxes onto your product. And if you check this one, this will exclude the taxes on your product. So in this case, we want to include tax. Next, we have calculate tax based on. You can choose if you want to calculate the customer shipping address, customer billing address, or shop base address. So in this case, we want to have customer shipping address. And next we have shipping tax class. So we are going to use the standard rate. And up next we have rounding. So this is how you want to round the tax. You can choose if you want to have the subtotal or if you want to have it per line. So in this case, we want to have the subtotal. Then we have additional tax classes. If you don't have this reduced rate, you don't have to bother about this, or zero rate, you will only use standard rate. But if you want to do this, you have to put these one as well. And then we go down to display prices in the shop. So we can choose including tax or excluding tax. In this case, we want to have including tax or how you want to display prices during cart and checkout. We also want to choose including tax. Then we have price display suffix. This is uh, the text after the price. So if you hold your mouse over the question mark, you can see that you can include ink VAT after the price, or you can choose this short code price including tax. So if we add this short code price underscore including underscore tax like that this will show price including tax after the price okay so then we go to display tax totals how do you want to display the tax so you can choose to have as a single total or itemized so in this case we want to have as a single total then we choose save changes Okay, so this is how you set up the tax options. Now we want to go to standard rates. Okay, so in standard rates, we want to add how much your customers will pay in tax, depends on what country they are in and which state. So to do this, click on insert row. And now we want to add a country code. So if you click on this country code, you will come to this list. It will show all of the country's country codes. 
So we want to use United States. So this one, United States of America. We can see that it's US. So go back to the website and click US like that. And if you want to sell to the whole world, you just leave it blank. So in this one, you want to add a state code. So this is two digits. If you know the state like Alabama, you just type in AL. If you want to sell to whole United States, you leave it blank. And now we want to add zip postcode. If you want to sell to everyone, just leave it blank. Or you can type in a zip code, maybe from 2000 to 3000, like that. You can choose to add a city or leave it blank to sell to every city. So in this case, we will leave it blank to sell to everyone in Alabama. And now we want to add a tax rate. So in this case, we have 7%. So type in 7.000. So now we have 7%. And now we want to name the tax, so just type in sales tax, like that. And then we have priority, and this is uh, if you have multiple Alabama tax rates. So if you don't have that, you can just leave it as one. And then we have compound rate, so if it, this rate is compound, this will apply on top of all prior taxes. So if you want to use this, just check this box. But I will leave this unboxed. Then we have shipping. Uh, if this rate also applies to shipping, check this box. Okay. And after that, we click on save changes. Okay, so this is how you set up uh, standard tax rates. You can do the same thing in reduced rate rates and the zero rate rates. Okay, so I hope this helped. Uh, this is how you set up uh, WooCommerce tax options and how you set up uh, standard rates. And you will do the same thing at reduced rate and zero rate. I hope this helped. Please subscribe. Share this video and have an awesome day. Bye. Okay, everyone, I hope this helped. Please uh, subscribe, leave a comment, make a thumbs up. You can also go to our premium support forum at uploadvp.com and uh, we will see you in the next tutorial. So, have a great day and uh, goodbye.